All right, so we're going to quickly go through a few legato exercises here, uh, just a, a few different techniques that are used by some popular players to de develop a lot of speed and fluidity in your playing. Um, the tab PDF download for this lesson can be found at guitarlessons365.com for free, and just grab that and see if you can start um, following along with this video. Now, um, we're going to start by just teaching a simple, basic little exercise, uh, little um, uh, just a little exercise here that's real reminiscent of what uh, Joe Satriani uh, would do, and he uses uh, a lot of legato playing, especially when he's doing anything quick. Most of it is is legato based, and it's just the sound that he prefers over the aggressive sound of a pick. So um, this thing incorporates using open strings with fretted notes. So we have the first string open, then hammer on two, then four, back down to two, and then we would start to lick over by flicking your first finger down. So the hard part of this is really getting the, using the base of the first finger. Well, you should be using the big knuckles and all the fingers. The power comes from the back of the hand. But really keeping that first finger loose when it's hammer on and pulling. Um, so we have... and just getting a good snap off that first finger. So here's that exercise. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then we were gonna just take that, he usually takes it up the, the scale or whatever key he's in. Right now I'm gonna do some E-Lydian, which is real popular with him as well. And so here it is very slow. All right, now, um, if you notice in the right hand that I have the base of my palm, the inside of my, my palm, I have uh, just laying against the strings, the bottom strings that aren't playing. And that's how you keep the rest of the guitar quiet while you're doing these legatos um, for all these exercises. So here it is a little bit quicker. All right, and I would take that and I would move it across strings. I would, since it all works off of, here's E, so it's an E Lydian. If you did it on the B string, you'd have B Lydian all the way. Now for this one, since my first finger can't mute the strings underneath it, I actually have my second finger muting that first string and then like the rest of my palm muting the, the lower strings underneath the string. And I, if I moved over to the third string, I would use my second and third finger to mute these top two strings. And then the bottom of the palm or the pick just... All right, so just take it across strings and just get used to the feel of that. Now, the exercise number three is gonna be a variation of exercise number one. Um, we can do the same thing. We're just basically doubling that hammer on and pull off. So zero, two, four, pull to two, back to four, back to two. Now what I would do also is take that and just do it up the like E Lydian again. Alright, and just take it across strings. Alright, so that is, uh, it's kind of fun to do as soon as you get it going. It creates this big swirling sound, which is really nice. 
the next exercise, we're actually going to use uh, no open strings, but we're going to use three notes per string kind of forms. Um, and this kind of lick is just a basic lick, like you'll see like John Bertucci play and everything. It's a basic pick the pick the top the 12th fret. We're going to do this in E minor. Pick the 12th fret, pull off to eight, hammer back to 10, back to 12, pull off to 10, and back to eight. So we have a six note form. Now, the goal here is, is to not pick anything. Now, that's not too bad on one string, but the next exercise, we're going to take this across the shape built from the third, uh, which you'll see in your three note per string patterns if you go through that, those at, the, at guitarlessons365.com. We have basically, you can just to do true legato, you should be doing no picking, really. So in order to do that, every time we change strings, we have to lead with that pinky note. Like, here's the whole shape. So if we're going to take this form and this little pattern and sequence it across strings, it'd be... Now, you can see the muting I'm doing here. When I'm going across strings, the low strings underneath the notes that I'm playing, the string that I'm playing is being muted by my palm again. But as I come down, when I get to the second string and anything on the uh, um, lower pitch strings, my, the bottom of my first finger is muting any strings that are, hot or that, are, that are underneath it. So now my first finger is muting the first string. Now it's using the first and second string. Now it's using the first, second, third, and so forth. And then you just kind of trace that with your with the other hand, and just to keep it clean. All right. And the last exercise we have, we kind of do some position changing. We're gonna do the same exercise to start, but then we're gonna slide down a half step, pull that, slide down one half step, and then do a hammer at eight hammer at 10, back to 8, back to 7, and then come over, hammer on, they call these hammer ons from nowhere, 10, 8, 7, on the second string, so we have, then we started this on E, we're going to now start on the next E an octave lower and do it from there, then from the E, here, same exact fingerings every time, and then, end on the D if you want. So we have Okay, so just take these exercises and slowly work them up to speed. We're going to do some more legatos that use uh, more string crossing and everything. But let me, uh, let me know what you think of these. And please go to guitarlessons365.com if you haven't already and, and check it out, all the free lessons, and I will see you there. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.